Hi everyone. In this video, you will learn how to disable or enable input field using JavaScript. I got very basic example right in front of me. Currently, the field is enabled, so I can type anything in this. The moment when I will click on this disable button, the field will be disabled. You can see it's not possible to type anything in this input field. But when I will click on this enable button, the field will get enabled. So this is what we are going to build in this tutorial. So let's get started. Let's create an index file here. It will be index.html. We need a basic HTML structure. Add a link to the style sheet here. And a script file at the bottom, which is script.js. Here we need a div element. And this div element will contain two buttons. The first will be enable. Let's give it a ID of enable copy and paste it let's make it disable also the id will be disabled create input element here type will be text we don't need these attributes save it let's create a style sheet here it will be style.css let's select the body element display will be flex Text direction will be column. Align items will be center. Cap will be 10 pixels. Padding will be 10 pixels. Select input element. Padding for this will be 5 pixels. Select button element. Border will be none. Border radius will be 10 pixels background color will be green font color will be white margin will be 10 pixels padding will be 10 pixel and 20 pixels and the cursor will be pointer save it let's open this file in the browser to see the output perfect let's work on the script file Create script.js here. Select both the button elements as well as the input element. So let's make it btn enable. ID is enable for this. Copy and paste it. Let's make it disable. Same goes here. Select the input element. Let's add a click event listener to these buttons. Copy and paste it. It will be disabled. To enable or disable input field, we are going to utilize the disable property of the input element. So in case of btn enable, we'll set it to false. Just copy and paste it and in case of disable click we'll set it to true that's it let's go to the browser let's type something here and click on this disable button you can see it got disabled now let's click on this enable button you can see it got enabled i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day